If you're making videos for Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, you name it, one of the top metrics that all those platforms are looking for that determine if it's a good video or not a good video is watch time. How long is somebody watching your video? Because think about it from their vantage point. If you're Facebook, if you're YouTube, if you're TikTok or whatever, you want to show your users content they're likely to want to watch and stay with for a long time. So if people are just watching a few seconds of your videos and then they're bailing off, your videos are being squashed, algorithmically speaking. But if your videos are maintaining people's attention as steady as possible, that's only gonna set you up for massive success in distribution of your videos. It's gonna show up in the Explore feeds, in the browse features on YouTube, whichever the platform is, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, if people are watching your videos, it's only going to give those platforms a reason to show your video to more people, which is kind of the point, right? That's that's part of the content marketing aspect. How can I get the, the most eyeballs, the most attention on this video? Yet we have a major problem. The major problem is when you look at agents who are producing videos, oftentimes if you look at the charts or the graphs that show that watch time, you'll see this just kind of a nosedive of attention. People start watching the beginning and then they just start flying off the rails and they lose that attention. It's kind of the fight, the entropy of watch time. How do I get people to keep watching my videos? The struggle is real. Yet, if I can't get them to keep watching my videos, I have a problem because I'm limiting the full potential reach of my videos. So today what I wanna give you is a very simple framework that if you follow it, it's just kind of an outline, if you will. Follow it. It's designed to help you gain people and maintain people's attention when they're watching your videos. I was doing a webinar on Monday with a gentleman named Sean Gerald. It was a Tom Ferry coaching webinar, uh, part of our Pulse series. And Sean Gerald, shout out to you, man. We had a great conversation. He's a rock star agent in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'm kind of making this video today because of the conversation he and I had before the recording actually started. We were talking about his property tour videos on YouTube. And he was saying, hey man, I'm looking at the analytics and I'm noticing that watch time is doing the old nosedive. I am losing people's attention out of the gate. They click off, they click off, they click off, and all of a sudden I'm gonna end up with hardly any viewership by the end of the video, he said. And the challenge is like YouTube has no reason to show that video to more people because they want videos that maintain people's attention because it helps them sell more ads, it helps their network have more value, blah, blah, blah. So he was like, I got this idea from somebody else to put the kitchen as the last part of the property tour because the kitchen is what people tend to wanna see. And lo and behold, he starts putting the kitchen at the end of the videos and people keep watching. Why? Because he put the best thing last. The thing people really wanted to see was the kitchen. He puts it last. If you think about classic literature and classic stories, there's an outline that we know works. It's introduction, rising action, climax, uh, and then it's the falling action, and then it's the resolution. We know that kind of a framework holds people as, people's attention. Why shouldn't that be the same or there be a similar one that works for videos? And there is, and Sean kind of walked right into it. So here's the outline, here's the framework for you. It's really, it's really simple. Tease, kick, hook, tease. What's a tease? A tease is basically where I bait the idea of the hook. Here's the hook, we're not gonna do it yet. I'm gonna tease the hook. So you gotta watch till the end to get the hook. Like remember Sean put the kitchen at the end? Save the best for last. Keep people's attention, but here's the problem. If you have a tease and then a hook and nothing but an abyss of boring content in the middle, people are gonna bounce off because they're gonna think, you know what? The hook's probably not gonna be that good anyways because the rest of the video is not that good anyways. Enter the middle, kick. So it's tease, which is I'm setting up this hook that, that is to come. And then the kick is basically a good faith offer. Hey, we're gonna get to the hook. It's gonna be awesome. Here's something in the meantime that's gonna keep you compelled to continue watching. So it could be like if I'm doing a property tour, it could be I tease that amazing kitchen, but then I kick off with the, here's the amazing pool. Here's the master bedroom innovation. And then I get to the kitchen that's stellar. Something along those lines, whether it's a market update video, property tour videos, any kind of video you're, you're making, it's all about how do I maintain people's attention? How do I maintain viewership? Tease, kick, hook. Follow the formula, get more viewership, and, and just watch. Watch your video engagement go up and watch its reach go through the freaking roof. Hope this helps. Have a great day. And we're getting close to the end of the year, so make sure you're making more videos and you're lined up to crush it with your videos in 2021. Have a good one. Thanks.